timestamps are in the description below if you want to skip to the examples. When you have a right angle triangle, you can use the basic trigonometry functions. The side in terms of angle X is as follows. The slanted height opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse, the side is the adjacent side, and the length opposite of the angle X is the opposite side. If the angle X is at the top, then this will be the opposite side, this will be the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse stays the same. For the next triangle, I'm going to label the sides as HOA. Sine of X is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine of X is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent of X is opposite over adjacent. You can remember these formulas by making words such as so, ka, and toa. Remember, when you are working with right angle triangles, you can also use Pythagoras when you want to work out a side length. Click here to see my video on Pythagoras. The first example, we want to calculate the length of side Y. It's a right angle triangle, so we can use the basic trigonometry functions. Label the sides. 5 is the hypotenuse, and Y is the opposite side of the given angle. Go back to your three trig functions and choose which one will have only one unknown variable. In this case, we have an angle, we have the hypotenuse, and the opposite side, Y. And Y will be our unknown. So we are going to use the sine function. Plug in your values into this equation. Multiply both sides by 5 to isolate the Y. Then type 5 times sine of 53.13 into your calculator. And then you have your answer. Y is rounded off to 4 units. If they don't give you units such as centimeters, it's better to write units next to your answer. Second example, calculate the side length y. We have a right angle triangle, so we can use the three basic trig functions. The side adjacent to the 22.62 degrees angle is 12, and the hypotenuse is y. We have an a and an h, so we can use the cosine function. Plug your values into the formula. A quick way of isolating the y is to make y equal to 12 over cosine of 22.62. How you do that is you get the reciprocal of both sides and then times both sides by 12. Type 12 over cosine 22.62 into your calculator and you will get your answer. y is equal to 13 units. The last example wants us to calculate the angle x. Yet again, we have a right angle triangle, so we can use the three basic trig functions. The side opposite of angle X is 15, and the adjacent side is 8. So we have O and A, so we can use the tangent function. Plug your values into the formula and see that your unknown variable is in the tangent function. To swap the X and the 15 over 8 with each other, we need to use the inverse tangent function. On most calculators, you can access the inverse of tan by pressing shift and then tan, or the second button and then tan. Type the inverse of tan 15 over 8 into your calculator, and then you have your answer. X is 61.93 degrees, rounded off to two decimals. Don't forget the degree symbol, since X is an angle. Thank you for watching and I hope you understand basic trig functions a bit better now. Good luck on your math journey.